Hi, welcome back to my channel Coding Skills. As part of this video, we will learn how to find longest and smallest within a given string. So there is no specific definition as such to define these longest and smallest words, but I'll try to explain in simple terms. So these longest and smallest words are calculated based on the number of characters identified for each of the word. If there are less number of characters for a particular word, then that will be classified as the smallest word. If there are more number of characters for a particular word, then that will be classified as a longest word. For example, if the input to your program is a welcome to Java programming. So the less number of characters will be the word two. So then this will be called as shortest number. And the more number of characters for the word is programming. And this particular word will be called as longest word. So let's see how we can implement the same using the Java program. I'm switching back to Eclipse editor. Creating new Java class. Static public static void method. Quoting scanner. Creating instance for the scanner. Mapping it and put string. Printing a message on the console. Requesting the user to enter the value. Declaring the string variable, I'm trying to capture the value from the input string. Creating a method. For this method input will be the given string. str dot length zero. If there is no string value, then we are going to print a message. Else, we will call the method that we have created by passing a input value. So now we have the string is thus. So let's declare two string variables. To hold the respective value as part of the calculation. In all words. We are going to split the given word with a delimiter space. So this is going to capture all the words within a string array. Words dot length. That's so for each and every word, we are going to perform the calculation here. So you can say if 
for the very first iteration. But we can do that. Longest equal to this. So for the very first iteration, when i equal to zero, because the longest and smallest word doesn't have any initial values. So I'm just storing the very first record. Look, like very first i equal to zero for that iteration. I'm storing both the longest and smallest words will be the starting word. And from the next iteration onwards, we are going to perform the actual calculation. That length is so if it is smallest means obviously that is going to be a small word. Smallest equal to the same way if so dot line is greater than so then that's going to be the the longest one we store it in a longest variable this loop is stupid I'm defaulting with the empty value to add an alpha exception. So this loop is going to be repeated for all the number of words within a given string. Once the loop is completed, means it has started computing both the longest and smallest values. After that, we'll just simply print those values. We are done with the program. Let's explore this program to see how it behaves. So first I will not enter anything. So if we don't have enter anything, so this is not, this want to check for the length of the string. Obviously it will it will become zero. Then we are printing a valid input message to the user stating that please enter a value string. And make sure the program again. So longest word will be the programming. Like it has a number of characters more in length and the smallest word will be two. Let's try to execute the program again. For the constant value, so longest word will be everything, and the shortest word will be is. So this is how we can make the logic using simple string operations. Thanks for watching the video. In case if you are having any specific questions, please do let me know in the comment section below. Please like the video and share it with your friends. And also subscribe to my channel. If you are looking for any specific program, please do let me know. I'll try to make the video as early as possible for you. Thank you very much. Bye.